Welcome back to Steve Drives a Truck? I guess. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it, I think it's so funny to ask a question like that. Um, okay, so this is episode four. Uh, let's find a job. So we're up to $24,842. I still can't afford my own truck, though that's coming soon. I hope. Uh, let's see. So we left off in well, in like Cassell, I think. So let's start in Cassell, and there's absolutely nothing good there. So let's just take a look at everything. Um, Eleven and a half grand to go to Sweden for ten cents a kilometer less, or well, it's euros. I don't. For so for 16 fractional euros left I don't know are, are those called cents in euros <laughs> um, we can deliver an 8 ton driller and get roughly $900 more though I'm a little bit more um, inclined to take this because it's heavy and it's high value so that means I'm gonna get more experience whereas I'll get less experience so a slightly less money and more experience or slightly more money and less experience um, I'm thinking I'm thinking Onsnabrook to Malmo is a good idea that's a 19 kilometer ferry yeah, I guess it saves going up the coast here, and that might be a ferry too anyway. Yeah, this looks good. Let's go. Well, let's just check real quick. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not really seeing much of anything else. Yeah, let's do... So, Osnabrück, Osnabrück to Malmo. Now, hopefully we won't get caught in a loop again today, because that was just embarrassing in the last episode. Okay, so trip time, 9 hours, 29 minutes. That means I should just barely be able to make it without having to sleep, and hopefully they give me enough... Oh, speaking of sleeping, I need to turn fatigue back on. Yeah, that, that last episode, that was a killer. Iron Gate Pro Mods 2.46. Okay. So check this truck out. This is a nice truck. Very, very nice. Uh, let's let's take a picture of it for the thumbnail real quick. Like I I guess I don't know how else to do this without. Hmm. No no no. We need to spin her around. No, nope, that's that's that 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 makes me uneven. Oh, I don't really use this very much, so really, because I kind of want to be on the other side of the truck. But I'm too dumb to be able to figure out how to do that. Well, maybe like this, I guess. Do this, then spin around. Yeah. There we go. I always like to look, be looking down just slightly for something like this. There we go. That should be good. Well, here. Because I'm going to want the... Uh, I'm going to want... like text on the left here or along the top so we need to leave some space that's just capture a screenshot right there all right you know what there is one thing I forgot to do um, 
I forgot to silence a couple notifications, so just one moment and I'll do that now. All right, and we're back. This is a very nice looking truck. There's a third seat back there, which makes me wonder who would be driving around and want th two other people in this truck. I wonder if there's another sideways seat behind me. Well, time's a wasting. We better get moving. Let's do this. Yes, let's do this. That's a nice display. Very interesting. Though I don't... The one thing that annoys me is I don't see a display that... Oh! That's how long I have to go. I guess that's 1,013 kilometers. Okay, so... Away we go. Turn left. Okay. This is a very nice truck. I like it. It's not having an issue pulling this, so I'm Oh, you know what? I guess I should be staying within that green, shouldn't I, for shifting. Turn left. Okay. Keep right. Shoot. Man, that's hard to... At the roundabout, take the second exit. At the roundabout, I can barely see because the sun's in my eyes. Whew. So, oops, forgot to signal going into the roundabout, but I think I should be okay. I'm carrying... What is this again? Is it an excavator? I don't remember. Let's uh, check. That's what I'm looking for, I think. No, I don't... I thought it said here somewhere, but I don't see anything that says... Oh. Asphalt Miller. So, um, one of the things I did want to briefly talk about here is, uh, I was maybe a little too high, but we should be okay. Maybe in a gear higher than I should be. And really, this asphalt miller, man, that's heavy. Heavy. There is one other thing I want to try here. I do want to uh, maybe take a picture going around this bend, and uh, you know what? There's a sign there. Maybe a different bend. Oops. Get ready to turn right. Get ready to turn right. Okay. Uh oh. It does not like turn going right. up this hill. Back into that power band. There we go. Let's just try another photo real quick. I think there's a shortcut to just enter photo mode. Um, how's this one look? Um, not bad. I might like that more for the thumbnail. I don't know how some people do this, get their thumbnails without stopping the entire game to take a uh, photograph. 
I might actually, I don't know, maybe they just really stealthily edit it out so you never notice. The only thing is, I wish you could actually see someone, oh, you can see someone in the driver's seat. Okay. How's that look? Huh. You can actually move the camera while you're holding the button down. The mouse key down to like get the viewfinder. I did I thought you could not do that. Okay. How's that look? Yeah, that looks good. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, I should be able to make one of those two work. Maybe even edit it up a little bit. Oh, crap. Ooh, hit a sign. Okay, so, uh, like I was saying before I got distracted by... Before I got distracted by wanting to take a picture of my truck, um, I was looking around for truck mods, and I found one that I, uh, quite like. It's a uh, DAF truck. It's called a ATI, like 95 ATI or something. I Ooh, what's going on here? Am I in trouble? No, that's someone on the side of the road being pulled over. Um, yeah, it's a 95, like 95 ATI or ATI 95 or something like that. Uh, it's an older truck from... I think like the late 80s or early 90s. Oh, I'm going way, 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 way too fast. There we go. That's better. Uh, so it's a, yeah, it's like a 95 ATI. It's a DAF from, like I said, I think the late 80s or early 90s. It's a really nice looking truck, so I know I've been saying I wanted to get that Volvo with 700 horsepower that I used to have in a previous profile, but I've never really driven a modded truck before, so I'm sort of thinking I might want to go that route and get the, uh, the, the DAF 95 ATI, so I think what we'll do is if I have enough time after, the, after I drop this delivery off, and it's a time of day when this thing is possible, which it looks like it should be since it's 7.30 at night. Um, I think we might have to... How is that truck going faster than me? I'm going the speed limit. Um, anyway, I think we might just try and kit out the DAF real quick and see if it's something I might be able to afford or see at what stage can I afford it. Because I'm... Because this is going to bring me up to about 35. I'm looking for about 50 before... I want to have about 50 in the bank. 50 grand in the bank before I take my loan. So... That's, you know... that That's getting close. I'm, I'm really itching to have my own truck. I'm getting a little tired of the... Uh, of quick jobs. I mean, they're nice at first. They let you drive, you know, different kinds of trucks. And that sort of thing. Um... And, oh, maybe not. I thought I was going to have to pass this guy. You know what, though? It might not be a bad idea to turn the lights on. Ooh, was that my high beams? No. This truck just has really bright lights. So yeah, we're going to check that DAF out at the end of this episode, or the start of next. Depending on how long this takes me. If this is another hour and a half huge haul that has a million problems, then no, we won't be doing that. Though, speaking of hauls with problems, I forgot to I forgot to um, check the map for discoverables. So we have Hamburg, well we have Bremen right here, which I've already been to. Uh, we have some discoverables right here by Hamburg, that's a possibility. Uh, in Copenhagen. Okay, so Copenhagen is, oh, and of course, Malmo itself. Like, 
right there. We'll do that, of course. Um, I don't want to stop at two cities, so I think we'll just do Hamburg right here. Uh, so, like, come in this way, hit it there, and hit it there. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, that works. That works really well, actually. Okay, perfect. How long is that? Eight and a half, uh, oh, almost nine hours. Um, I think I should be good with n almost nine. I think... I think that should be within range of what I can do. Oh, and we just entered Bremen. How about that? Um, oh gosh, we have 22 hours remaining on this job. Oh, we can make this for sure. No problemo. Um, we have 905 miles in the tank and 531... I'm sorry, kilometers. 529 kilometers to go. Not miles. This isn't America. Though I'm really thinking about starting up American Truck Simulator soon. I really am. Um, speaking of videos I've done, um, I've started a new Gold Rush series. Uh, Gold Rush Episode 1 went up earlier today. Today is the 3rd of August. Uh, it's about 5 p.m. in case you're curious. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have waited a little longer and had dinner first, because I am starting to get a little hungry here, but I'm sure we can make this work. So yeah, this is, although ETS 2 is definitely my favorite series so far, Gold Rush, I spent the entire day yesterday working on the Gold Rush series. I had to edit the first episode, and I kept having technical problems with the second episode. My main hard drive ran out of space, and the ooh, Lower Saxony. I know that from Crusader Kings 2, when I take over Germany. Um, oh, speaking of that, Crusader Kings 3 comes out in about in roughly a month. There's definitely a possibility I'll be doing a series on that. Maybe even, probably first series playthrough. Um, anyway. Oh yeah, and if you're into that sort of game, I do have a couple one-offs from Crusader Kings 2 from a few years ago that I don't know what happened. They just never really went where I wanted, so I never really worked on them. Um, there's also a possibility I might do a Crusader Kings 2 series at some point, but that one's iffy. Anyway, back to Gold Rush. Uh, I did episode. I recorded episode one on Saturday, I believe and edited it on Sunday, which was yesterday. Today is Monday. And then I recorded episode two yesterday. My, Like I said, my hard drive ran out of space. And I just had other technical problems. It was such a mess. The, the entire episode ended up being 90 minutes. I have it all rendered and ready to go, and I'm just going to upload a gigantic... Uh, 90 minute episode and see how that does. I mean, I have 59 subscribers, none of whom subscribe for the sort of content I'm making now, so my view numbers have not been fantastic. Um, as of last night, I had 11 views on the first episode of this, and none of the other episodes have been released yet. I'm doing every Wednesday. Though I'm recording so many of these, I'm thinking I might do like I might move episode 3 to Saturday and release episode 4, this one, next week on Wednesday instead. But I'm not sure if that's something I want to do because once I start working, which is in under two weeks at this point, or actually two weeks from today, I'm not going to have time to be making... Like, I'm trying to record an episode of something every day. I didn't quite manage that. I didn't record anything on Friday, I think. So, yeah, I but other than that, I've been doing at least I've been doing an episode a day. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do that once I start working, so maybe I shouldn't burn through my reserve. Though it also is kind of annoying that I'm recording something like this and you're not going to see it for two and a half weeks at this point. 
but also building up a buffer, so to speak, of episodes is a, you know, is a good idea. I mean, I feel like I'm only going to be able to record episodes on the weekend after I start working, but whoa, 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 what's going on here? Why are you going slow? Did the speed limit drop? No. I'm just blowing past you for whatever reason. You know what might look nice? A, uh, screenshot against the sunset. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's just try that real quick. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I'm not really sure how else to do this, you know? I mean, I could try and... I could try and take it, you know, just take a screenshot out of the video, but... I don't know. Yeah, there's really not enough light there, but we'll give it a try anyway. All right, guys, I promise that's the last one. What a wimpy horn. I think I'm about to speed past this guy, so let's get into the other lane just to be safe. Because I am carrying a 44-ton asphalt miller behind me. The last thing I want to do is have to suddenly stop. Um, so something annoying that's going on is... Ooh, we're in Hamburg! Uh, something annoying is, I've mentioned in a few of these episodes, I'm wearing a broken headset for this. Uh, it doesn't sit on my right ear correctly. So I'm supposed to get a new uh, headset in the mail today. Keep right. Uh, and then from exit right. Oh, okay. I was like, oh no, why did you wait so long to tell me that? But they mean up here. Exit. Okay. Right. Okay. Ever since I flipped, or ever since I tipped that truck in a, in my main profile right before I started recording right. this, and then turn right. I have been super, super, um, Super cautious about exit ramps, because that's where I did it. And even if it, the speed limit doesn't drop, I slow down. Right. And then but I may want to uh, go down a few gears. Oh, turn shoot. Right. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, so I think I was actually in the right gear for that. I think. Yeah, most of the, like I said, most of these episodes are going to be watch Steve figure out what gear to be in. Though this heavy haul is pretty nice. This isn't a super heavy haul, like with the, like a super wide heavy haul. I've never done one of those and I really want to. You know, one of the ones with the uh, red, um, like the, the red stripes on the job offer. I might not have the right license for that yet, but I would absolutely love to do that. Ooh. Turn right. Well, I didn't actually come to a stop, so that's good. I didn't lose as much um, as much momentum as I could have. I did keep moving. But yeah, I wonder what model of truck this is. I wonder if there's anywhere that would tell me. Though I do want to say, the one thing here is I do miss doing World of Trucks content. I mean, contracts. I really do miss those. I really enjoy that. I like that it gets categorized on the uh, web page, you know, the World of Trucks site. And I 
do... I do miss those. I do miss those. Uh-oh. Maybe went a little too slow. Think I can make the green? I don't know. It's going to be close. No! Darn it. Um, I don't remember what this I started this in. Let's try to. <sighs> it's taking a sip of my uh, orange pineapple squash. I started drinking this stuff because Squirrel drinks it on stream uh, on stream sometimes on Twitch. I'm like, what is it? I need to try some. So I had to end up going to an importer to get it. This stuff isn't even labeled for sale in America. It has uh, UK. It has uh, anyone behind me? No. It has UK nutritional labeling on it. You can't. So yeah, uh, maybe starting four. Two seemed a little low there. Oh, shoot, fatigue. I forgot to turn fatigue on. Let's do that right now. Right now. Uh, it's under gameplay. Yeah, because I looked over to check my fatigue and it wasn't there. And it resets to nothing. Okay. So I'm definitely not going to have a fatigue issue this game. Yeah, it starts pretty nicely from four. Though, I think three might be a little bit... Because it seems to have trouble uh, pulling at first. So maybe right, three is the way to right. go. Oh, not again. Turn right. I'm already up to 11. How many... How many gears does this thing have? Oh, 16. Okay. That explains it. Um, so, uh, like I was saying, one of the things I've noticed about this game, about me recording, is I get distracted really easily, then I never, um, then I never finish what I'm saying. Like, listening to my commentary during editing, ooh, a recruitment agency, nice, I'm like, so many stuff I say like half a sentence of, and I just never go back to it. Something interrupts me, like, you know, a stoplight. And I'm like, what here am I supposed to be in? And I just never go back to saying it. So, like I was saying, um, I've been wearing a broken gaming headset. I'm supposed to get a new game set in the mail today from Amazon. And I can't find it. Like, so the, the Amazon site says it has not been delivered yet. If I actually check the... Um, if I actually check UP, uh, the post office site, it like if I if I check it directly, it says it has been delivered. Uh, now the thing about that is, okay, so my package is missing. It's I, it's not in my box. I walked around my entire building trying to find it. Like we have five doors total. I checked all five doors in case they put it on the inside. Or actually, if you want to get technical, we have seven. Because they're security left, doors. And then turn left. Ooh, I've echo. Keep left, okay. Turn left. Um, we actually, if you count the security doors, we have actually more than seven. Um, well, we have a lot of doors. There's an outside door, then immediately a security door. So the grand total of doors is something like... Two, four, six, eight, ten, I think. No, twelve. So there's twelve doors I can check to see if they put it near those doors, and no, there is no package out there. So I try and I want to get on this right away, and I try to go to Amazon and say I never got this, but since their site site doesn't show it as delivered. Their position is I can't find it because it hasn't been delivered yet, so yeah, I don't know. I, oops, left. Oops, shoot. There's a car. Almost got a traffic fine there. 
gonna just get over here into the left lane. And this is a very awkward position to be in. I don't know what I was thinking. But we'll just hold the wheel and wait for everything to clear out. I mean, it's not like I can go straight. I should have noticed it. But yeah, so I'm a little annoyed. I don't have, I'm not recording this on my new headset. And I can't even do anything to Amazon about this. Because as far as they're concerned, I have, do not, the set, the uh, headset has not been delivered yet. So that's why I can't, like I said, that's why I can't find it. It hasn't been delivered. So that's annoying. I almost did, it was annoying enough that I almost did not, um, record this today. Although, speaking of having, um, recording things, I almost did, uh, episode three of Gold Rush, but why am I, I'm not supposed to be turning here, but the issue with that is, uh oh, come on. Why doesn't this want to move? There we go. Now we got it. Yeah, like it can't move at all to start. Then it pushes through and the revs just fly up. I don't know. I think I'm still probably in the wrong gear most of the time. But I'm working on it. You now, with the amount of time that we have, I think it was expecting me to rest, which is why I have 22 hours for a 9-hour drive. Though you can... Go 11 hours between rests, and I don't. I think I was probably on this route for about 12 hours. How long do I have until I have to rest? Keep uh, eight and a half. Turn left. I have eight and a half until I have to rest again. Turn left. Ooh, nice. No loss of momentum this time. I don't know. Maybe I can explore Copenhagen. But I don't know. Because I have about 5 hours and 45 minutes to go. I have a little over 8 hours until I need to rest. Though I have time to rest if I need to. I definitely have time to rest if I need to. Right? Because I have 19 hours. So, yeah, even if I do have to rest, I'll have, I'll have four hours to go. Like, if I get all the way down, yeah, I should, I should definitely explore Ho Copenhagen then. I should definitely explore Copenhagen. So, yeah, I mean, it, there's also, um, what's the name of that? Gedzer there, but there's no discoverables, so I don't want to stop for them. I'm really only interested in discoverables at the moment. So there's one here, and this one, I just know you're going to have to go up the road. So let's get that in a little bit. So that's not even bad. That's not even going to take that long. I don't have to even like loop around like I did just a moment ago. I can just ooh, go right through it and continue on to the... Um, yeah, How much does that add? Uh, 534, and it'll add almost a half hour. Okay. Well, still, at six, six hours and three minutes, um, it's still fine because I have over eight until I need to rest, and like I said, I have time for a rest. It's one of those things where I almost want to drive through Malmo and go down here to like Trelborg just to discover it but I don't think that's necessary again this early in the game it's important it's why does that always happen um, it's important to uh, get as much discovered as possible. Oh, does this have an air horn, by the way? Yes. Um, it's important to discover as much as possible, as early as possible. So I have more cities to take jobs from, potentially. More recruitment agencies for when I need drivers, and more dealers when I want to get a truck. Though I think I've uncovered 
I don't think I've seen a Renault dealer, or Renault, Renault, or is it Renault? It's French, isn't it? I guess that T is maybe silent, Renault? I don't think I've seen one of those yet, though I've never actually driven a Renault. Uh, so maybe that's something we'll do soon. I might grab one once I have money for multiple trucks. I, I know I have Volvo, DAF, Scania. I just saw an Aveco earlier in this run. I don't know. I'm, I, I can't actually remember discovering a Mercedes dealer, but I feel like I have. So is this left or do I have to get over a lane? I think this is considered left. Or left enough anyway. Yeah. It's not like I can go right, I would bounce off the barrier of the map. Yeah. This headlight range is pretty good at medium. Or at low, I mean. Definitely feel like maybe I was running a gear too high there. You know what? Probably two gears too high. Yeah, you gotta conserve that gas as much as possible. But you also want to stay within the uh, green band, I guess. Well, that's how I understand it anyway. One of the things, though, since I don't have much else to talk about at the moment, that Gold Rush series I was talking about earlier, that's a gold mining simulator. Uh, I don't really know what to do about episodes with that, because I, in, at the end of episode two, I hit this kind of point where the only thing I'm going to be doing for the next probably five to six hours in-game is mining with an excavator. And it's going to be very repetitive and boring, and I'm not sure if that makes engaging videos. I don't know if people are going to want three episodes in a row of me mining with an excavator. Like, that sounds like some ooh, questionable content right there. Yeah, I knew there'd be a speed drop. Yeah, turn that retarder on, get my speed down. I know! Game, I know. Okay. Oh, I think I dropped it too much. Or did my, uh... Hang on, I'm, I'm, or, oh, you know what? I'm going up a hill. That's the problem. That's why I'm slowing down. Yeah, let's get down a few gears, get into that power band, see if we can power our way up the, uh, up the hill here. Okay, I don't actually know... Okay, I'm going to have to actually activate the brake here. Because I don't know what's going on with my cruise control, but it's putting me in gears that... I mean, it's putting me at speeds that don't make sense. There we go. See, one of the problems with this is... Uh, this display doesn't seem to have a cruise control doesn't tell you what your cruise control is set to. So I have to... So yeah, it's... Oh wait, is that it down there? Yeah, I think it's down there. Ooh, Putt Garden. I wasn't aware this was a city I could discover. But nice that I found it. Ooh, what's going on here? Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. I think. Do I have to go through that thing? Am I going around it? What's happening? Oh, I think I'm supposed to go in here. Am I? This is very un I'm very unclear about where I'm supposed to be going or what I'm supposed to be doing. Are these people waiting for something? Are these cars parked? What's happening? Either way, I'm in way too high of a gear. Like, what's, what's going on here? What am I supposed to be doing? I 
I definitely see a green blinky thing up there, and I feel like I should probably be going to that. Um, let's exterior camera view real quick. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be sitting here. Like, I can see, because this looks like I got to the ferry, and the f ferry's up there. But, I mean, everyone's just waiting. Like... I don't know what to do. Because <laughs> I don't see an easy way of getting there, but... Uh, I, think I, f I think I messed something up, guys. Okay. Let's go back the way we came. And I feel like I was probably supposed to go through the gate there and didn't, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so let's turn here. Uh, first gear. That's a pretty low gear. Yeah, I got a little confused there for a second. Um, okay, so let's drive by. That. Why is everyone stopped? Like, am I doing something wrong? Is that policeman about to arrest me? Um, I don't know. I th I'm thinking I did something wrong, but let's see where... Let me just slap into neutral real quick. Throw on the parking brake. And see, am I supposed to be going... Where's that go? Yeah, that looks like where I'm supposed to be going, because I'm supposed to go to Malmo. Hey. Okay. Asphalt Miller. Okay, so I now know about Rod by Haven. See, and there are those people sitting again. doesn't show anything behind me. This feels wrong. Or I guess it doesn't actually. Yeah, so those people are just sitting there. I don't see anything in their cars. Did they take the ferry across and just um, leave their cars behind? Or what's going on here? Uh, what just happened? Did I hit something? What's going on here? Oops, that's not the button I meant to press. Yeah, why? What did I... Did I... Yeah, what's... What? What is going on here? Why can't I go forward? Why can't I go backwards? Why can't I move at all? Okay, something happened here, and I don't know what. I don't see anything blocking me, but I can't go forwards and I can't go backwards. So what exactly is the problem here? Please don't make me have to call for a tow, because I abandon my job if I do that. Just, well, I feel like I'm moving backwards very, very slowly. I guess we're not going to have time for Copenhagen. Oh, there we go. There we go. So what the hell happened? There's nothing blocking me. Why can't I... 
is... Uh-oh, am I too high for this roof? Is that the problem? Am I too high for the roof? That might be what's happening. That's the only thing I can think of, because there's nothing blocking me. Here, let's, uh... Let's go around the side here. I don't know, am I allowed to do this? Like this, am I going to... I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that I have such a big load on the back, it can't make it over that roof. Here, let's, uh... Let's stop here for just half a second. Uh, yeah, I think that's what's happening. I think I'm too high for the roof. Well, at least I was able to get moving. Because that would have been embarrassing if I had to call for a tow. That would have been very embarrassing. Ooh. And also, my steering wheel is coming... The clamp came is like coming loose or something. That's weird. I've never had that happen before. Because yeah, I noticed my... Uh, steering wheel in real life my gaming wheel was shaking when I was steering and so I checked the clamp and it was really loose that's really strange okay just gonna sit here for ever and wait for an opening I guess okay Sometimes you have to make your own opening, I guess. I think this is single lane. Exit now. One of the things I tend not to do is I tend to forget to shift if I'm turning. Wow, that's a long line of traffic. That sort of thing doesn't normally happen in this game without a mod. Wowie. We're up in 12th. We're still nowhere near the speed limit. Oh, that's right. We're six. We have 16 gears. Though my truck, I have the throttle open full, and it. Doesn't seem real interested in going faster, but oh, there we go. Maybe we were going up a slight incline. Now, this is definitely an incline. Maybe get down a gear. Huh, it looks like the sun's coming up already. That's interesting. It's only 3 a.m., though I've also heard stories of people going drinking in, I want to say, like Norway, maybe? And them leaving the pubs at like 4 a.m. and it's broad daylight out. So yeah, the further north you go, the I guess the earlier it gets light. I mean, if it's full, if it's broad daylight at 4 a.m., the sun probably came up around 2.45 or 3 a.m., though that is just bizarre to me. Apparently, every house in that area has blackout blinds. Otherwise, I mean, unless you want to get up at 2 a.m. every day. All right, so we're in top gear here. See, now that's the thing. I should... A retarder definitely exists in this truck. But it won't... I don't know. It just 
it doesn't work right. It's never worked right. Like, I've had to manually activate the retarder. Every once in a while it comes on. Every once in a while it'll come on. But never for long enough. So that's weird. Okay, so we're cruising at 78 here. We have 157 kilometers to go. I am real happy we haven't run across any detours yet. I actually just recently found out you could turn those off, so that's a possibility. I mean, at least I haven't gone in a loop yet. Well, this episode anyway. Yeah, it's really nice to watch the uh, sun coming up. I wish I could look around a little bit more, but looking around isn't isn't advised like I can do this but that's not where the sun see look at that I start driving off the road if I look around I mean maybe it's because it's a mouse look instead of me turning my head I mean maybe see that's pretty I don't know I probably I, I feel like I'm swerving around like I'm drunk at the moment but oh there we go now we're just turning into it so I can just look forward And 26 kilometers to go so we're almost there like uh, I find these trips pass really quickly when I'm uh, when I'm talking on a video keep right and then exit right oh looks like we're at Copenhagen I'd imagine keep right and exit right exit right Okay, cruise control off. It doesn't say we need to slow down, but I will be happier if I do. Or actually, this isn't very sharp at all, so maybe I'm okay as is. Looks like we need to go right up ahead, so let's <clears throat> get into the correct lane. Ooh, sounds like a train was about to go by. Keep right, and then keep right. Copenhagen discovered. Sweet. Um, right here. Right, and then exit. Ooh, right. shit, 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 shit! Too fast, too fast. Ooh. I mean, darn, 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 too fast. Trying to keep it family friendly up in here. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Uh oh. I forgot to check. I still haven't checked that uh, brake pedal. There's got to be like a sensitivity setting or something for it. Um, we look looking good. We looking good. One of the things I was interested to learn, and I think I might have said this already, is um, I was right. interested to learn most right. of Europe drives on the right-hand side of the road. As a kid, I thought America and Canada drove on the right, and every other country drove on the left. It was just a little too far, probably. Hmm. Well, here we are in Copenhagen. I wonder what that place is. Is that like a dealer, maybe? It's down the... I think that might be a dealer of some kind. Um, oh, shoot. I think I can go. I could see the light when it was red, but no traffic violation, please. One of the things I gotta get better about is shifting... When possible. Yeah, I know. I haven't discovered my thing yet. Uh, it looks like a recruitment agency, which is fine. What are those people doing out at 4.30 in the morning? Um, okay, we're going to pull a U-turn in here, I think. Finding a new route. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. Oh gosh, that was close. That was very close. I thought I was about to hit something. And now I'm in the wrong gear. I think it'll want to... Come on. Why aren't we moving? Come on. I'm moving a little bit. Downshift? Am I stuck on something? This car... Or is it just that I'm towing 50 tons. I think it might just be that I'm towing, towing 50 tons. That guy's going somewhere interesting. I mean, or not interesting. I think he's just walking up and down the street. Well, we made it out of there alive. Which is... A good thing. Oh, 87 kilometers to go. All right, we're gonna have to turn right up here, so I'm getting into this lane early. Ooh. <sighs> For having 44 tons behind it, I'm I am shocked at how fast this thing stops. Like it can almost stop on a dime. Mmm, that orange pineapple. So tasty. And it's really strange, because I didn't like it the first time I had it. I thought it was... Uh, vastly inferior to summer fruits, which is the other... Uh, the other flavor I have. Now, keep in mind... I would still say um, I like summer fruits more, but... I found I just have to be careful what I pair... And then turn right. Um, what I pair the orange pineapple with. Like, I tried... Turn right. I tried using it as a mixer with, um... A vanilla rum? Figuring, well, orange pineapple vanilla sounds amazing. But it doesn't really work. But also, I have cheap vanilla rum. So that could be what it is. Like, I'm talking about, like, $7 a bottle. Oh my, oh my gosh, I'm in 11th. No wonder I can't get moving. Well, I hope you're enjoying yet another episode of Steve Never Knows What Gear to Be In. Okay, I feel like I'm probably in the correct gear at the moment. Okay, so we're back on the highway, I think, or actually, I guess we're merging into it just right up here. How are we doing on fuel? Uh, we got 400... 30 kilometers to go, it looks like. That's not bad. Oh, going a little too fast. Just merge right in here. Get over on the right. I know we're going too fast. Oh, we're going way too fast, actually. Ooh. There we go. Set that... Uh, set that cruise at 78. So I haven't really done many heavy hauls of this nature with pulling 44 tons, and I have to admit, this pulls um, better than the Scania, I feel like. Oh, we're in Sweden. All right. We must be getting close to Malmo. Uh, this truck is definitely not 
conducive to going forward. Okay, let's get into the correct lane. Uh, the one thing I'm not sure of is I'm not actually sure who makes this truck. I, I feel dumb saying this, but I do not recognize that symbol on the uh, steering wheel. Uh, so I'm actually not sure what kind of truck this is. See, there's the retarder. Ooh, shoot, what are we doing? Is this a uh, toll road, maybe? Uh, looks like this is a auto lane. 12, 172 paid by your employer. Very good. Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh man, I had to stop completely. Let's get down to a more acceptable gear. See if I... Ooh, here comes a car. Well, I messed that up. So, uh... I am being blinded right, again. And then exit right. So, what you're telling me is as soon as I... Oh wait, this seems... Is this too soon? No, I guess not. Go straight up. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna put some eye racing on here, but... I tried... I raced a practice race offline, like I did some practice at the... I think it's called the International U.S. Speedway. And my performance was so embarrassingly awful, there's just no chance I can put that on my channel. Um, I was hoping Charlotte Motor Speedway was still in rookie class. I'm, I just started playing a little while ago, so I'm still in rookie. And I don't know. I was... I guess it's less embarrassing to talk about it, but... Um, I pulled out of the pit too fast and got a black flag. Well, no, actually, I, was, I raced a couple laps. Get ready to turn right. And someone hit me, so I pulled in for turn right. repairs. And the repairs took like three minutes, which put me like nine laps, nine, ten laps down, something like that. Get ready to turn I right. pulled out of the pit a little too fast and got a black flag which means I had to pull back in again to serve a penalty. But for some reason, despite only having one lap on the tires, they changed my tires anyway, which added like an extra 30 seconds. Because the penalty doesn't start... The penalty doesn't start until they're done doing any work on it. Like, you know, that's not a loophole. You can't... You can't... Uh... You can't serve your penalty while you're changing your tires. So they ch for some reason they changed my tires, which means I ended up being in pits for like almost a minute. And at the US International Speedway, average lap time is like, it's really short. It's a three quarter mile oval. Um, I think the average, you know, an average lap time is like maybe 28 or 29 seconds. So, at this point, I'm like, um, oh, we're here. Go straight on. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, that's right. We had to discover that recruitment agency. Um, yeah, I'm like 17 laps down, and I figure, well, I think my safety rating takes a hit if I quit out. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to get up to get out of rookie. So, I guess I'll um, keep going. And I did. I keep racing. This guy hits me. And he loses his crap. Over. Over the accident. You know, you idiot. What are you doing racing? You're 17 laps down. What's wrong with you? You know. And, you know, I hope you crash out of every other race you ever. I hope you crash out of every race you ever race in. And I'm just kind of like. 
So what? Since I'm 17 laps down, I'm not allowed to race? Um, anyway, the repairs on that, to, to, I had to call for a tow, so the tow was like 45 seconds. Um, Get ready to turn left. And then they had to repair my car, and by this point, I'm like 27 laps, 28 laps down, something like that. Turn left. And so, you know what, I figure, I think my safety rating takes a hit if I quit out. So, I literally just pulled out of the pit and sat on the side of the oval until the checker, what happened? Huh? I'm sorry, I was telling my story. Anyway, so that was just an, an embarrassingly awful um, ride. Like, super embarrassing. I mean, I looked on the replay. The dude totally hit me. I didn't do anything wrong. But he didn't like the, f he didn't like the fact that I was on track with, with, uh, at such a deficit. So, the, the, as far as he was concerned, the accident was my fault because I shouldn't have been on the track at all. Even though he very clearly, I checked in the replay, he very clearly rammed me. But, like I said, as far as he was concerned, it's still my fault. Um, and I think, because he finished seven laps down, I think that might have taken him out of the race. Because I feel like I saw his name pretty high up. I think he's also... I think he's also seeing me as having cost him a race. Or at least a good standing. Get ready. Um... I'm not too bothered by it, though it might be telling that I have not played iRacing since, and that was like five days ago. I mean, maybe I should just go back to having voice chat turned off. Because that's what I did for my early races. Um, yeah, but I'm not real good at iRacing. I'm bad at realistic games. I've only gained safety rating. I've raced maybe six, six races now. Six official races. And I've only gained safety rating on one of them, so I am quite a bit down from where I started. Um, I just think eye racing may not be for me. I can't see if anyone's coming because of my mirror. There's someone. Exit now. Um, yeah, I'm thinking eye racing may not be for me. If I could get back on Charlotte Motor Speedway, I feel like that's a larger oval that I, I do much better on. That's the one race where I gain safety rating. I mean, if I could get back on... Oops, that's someone calling me. Uh, if I could get back on that, I might put it up. Because at least I don't think I would embarrass... Isn't this where I drop it off? No, I guess not. Forgot to turn my cell phone off. Well, except for that one traffic offense. I feel like I did pretty well here. Um, so, I really don't feel like trying to back this in. Well, where would I have to back it in? Yeah, that's the same sort of position as I had last time, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. So, yeah, I'm just going to play it safe on this one. Okay, so I'm... It's 5.55. That means... Or actually... Yeah, I think I started right after 5, so I think this is maybe like a 50-minute video at this point. What time is it? It's 6.17 in the morning. I don't think the truck dealership will be open yet. So I guess we won't be trying to price out that uh, that DAF I won. It's a really nice DAF. And like the 95 ATI, I think it's called. Oops, I think I went a little too far there. No, not far enough. There we go. One traffic violation, but otherwise... I did okay. 11 hours, 53 minutes. I would have had to stop to rest if I had, um... If I had had fatigue on the whole time, I would have had to stop for a rest, but I didn't. I feel like I cheated again. Oh, but I gained a level, so let's, uh... Let's see. Um... All right, so we have just in time and high value. I'm—I don't think I 
I don't want eco driving yet because there's no point in getting eco driving if you don't own your own truck. So I'm thinking long distance. And then I'll probably take Fragile Cargo after this. Unless I have my own truck, then I might take Eco Driving. Okay, well, let's see if we can go to the... Uh, let's see if a DAF dealer is open. DAF, Iveco, Man, and Volvo. Oh, have I not discovered... Oh, have I not discovered Scania yet? I swear I thought I did. Access mod dealer. What's that? Oh, that's the uh, truck I was telling you about. I guess this is how you do a mod truck. Yeah, let's go inside real fast and take a look. Whoops, that's not interior. Yeah, look at that interior. Yeah, I'd have to look up when this is from, but that is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, um, let's try and price something out here. Let's just try and configure this real quick. Ooh, that looks nice. And You know, I gotta say, that looks a little weird, but I kind of like it. It's really tall, but that, you know, that definitely gives you a little more room, it looks like. I wonder if it's called a 95 ATI because it came out in 1995. Where the chassis... Oh, goodness. Just everything's unlocked here. Wow. Yeah, I kind of... I kind of like this one, honestly. Has that liftable rear axle. It's a little bit better for heavy car, although that one's more maneuverable with, uh, uh, with the second wheel being liftable instead of the third. Yeah, I'd probably go with that, I think. And that's a pretty powerful engine that it comes with. Yeah, why is this so cheap, though? Yeah, I'd probably stay with the default engine. The only issue here is I want to do heavy hauls and this is this truck doesn't look like it's really configurable for a heavy haul. Like I might I can screw around with the settings a little bit and see what I can get, but I can almost afford this without a loan. This is a little dark, and that's nice, but I think I kind of like this a little better. Like, yeah, it keeps the center console here, or the driver pit, driver cockpit, or driver cab, or the driver space, whatever that's called. Yeah, it keeps, okay. Yeah, it would either be exclusive or exclusive plastic gray, I think. Like, like I think kind of this one. I think I kind of like this one the most. Um, paint job. My main Scania is orange, so I'd want a different color. I 
See, I want to keep it cheap at this point. Ooh, I like that. I definitely like that. Now, we definitely want to stay light on the customizing. Though I do like it saying Leyland Daff, and that's only another $10. Um. Nah, I think the plastic looks better than the paint. Um, I would definitely want the stock paint with the lights. Yeah, this is working out real nice. Um, oh, look at that. It doesn't use uh, the SISL Mega Pack. It's just using whatever. Um, oh, that's kind of annoying. I really like the Mega Pack, but it doesn't. I just want to. That's what I was just trying to see if it accepted it. Um, I have to admit, I, I kind of like the standard light, gives you a little bit of a light color there that's otherwise missing. Ooh, what's this for? What exact, I guess that's to grab it and turn it, isn't it? See, this one takes the Mega Pack. Compass on the steering wheel? I don't like that. Nah, I don't think we should have anything here. Yeah, but this doesn't take the make. That's so weird. Anyway, we can currently afford this truck. So that's interesting. Um, Daff emblem. That's nice, but that's just money. That's just money I can't really afford at the moment. Though the annoying thing is I don't see an X to get rid of it. Oh, there it is. So guess what, guys? We can actually afford this right now configured as is and I will have just over five grand left I think we should take it I think I should take this oh I don't like that I don't really like that bar though I would like some auxiliary lights here though oh yeah now now stuff's locked okay Maybe like a square or a rectangle light there and a rectangle light there. And a horn up here. So with this configuration, which I'm completely skipping wheels and rims because I can't afford that. Though I definitely want to come back and do wheels and rims. Um, maybe downgrade the chassis to something a little cheaper. Because this is definitely not going to be a... This is definitely not going to be a heavy, um, this is definitely not going to be a heavy hauler. I guess I'll have to wait for the Volvo for the heavy hauler. Yeah, look at that. It has like, I thought, oh, I thought those were gas tanks. This is the gas tank right here. Hmm. Yeah, well, this is the one that's still in... This is the one that comes installed. And this drops it to 28 if I take that one. But I do like the idea of having a lift axle here. I mean... Yeah, I think this is it. I didn't realize I'd be able to do this without a loan. Why is this truck so cheap, though? Like, I feel like I'm doing something weird and cheating, but I really... 
I don't know about that bar. What if we dropped it down to this, which makes it cost a little less? Uh, still the same bar as before. I was hoping it would give me more options for the bar. Okay, well... Okay, you know what? Let's skip the... Do we want to skip the bar for now? Normally I'd want to put a sun visor on it, but I guess I won't now. Oh, you know what? Let's take a... Let's take a cheaper... Wait, wrong side. No, wrong, wrong side, wrong side. Come back. There we go. Cancel you, and we'll put a here. We'll put the roar here. We'll make. We'll use a cheaper horn on top, and maybe upgrade it later. And do that. And we're at 32. Hmm. I don't know. Does that look good? I like a lot of lights on the front of my car. Like, there's all this, like, mirrors and door handles. Uh, it doesn't look like you're able to change the footsteps here. Haven't done anything with the tires or rims. I really like that paint job, though. Gotta say that. I'm wondering if maybe I should take the 400, the most powerful engine, the 428, because it gives me just that little bit of extra oomph going up a hill, and that might be important. Okay, yeah, this is going to, I, I want to, mm, mm, you know what, let me try it with the, the standard engine, and if I don't like that, I will try it, I, I will come back and change it, it's pretty cheap. Um, yeah, it looks like this one, because of the higher differential, actually makes it a slightly worse transmission. But yeah, this is, this is not a truck you can heavy haul with. But yeah, okay, 32,850. So I'm going to have just over three grand in the bank after this. But I have no loan, so I guess that doesn't matter. I don't actually know how to raise and lower that um, axle right there, so I'm going to have to learn. Okay, guys, I guess we're getting our first truck. Gosh, why does this feel like I'm cheating? It just seems like this is impossibly cheap, or maybe it's maybe it's so cheap because they're supposed to be an old truck. All right, guys, confirm the. DAF 95 ATI Super Space. We also have the uh, F421, which I, which I'm not going to look at right now. But there are the F421s. Is another mod I put in. I found two DAF mods. Uh, okay, and it's letting me do an online truck purchase, which is a little strange. Uh, let's put you in the garage in Amsterdam. Set me as the driver. Okay, guys, I have three grand left. It's showing me a Volvo for some reason. But why is this not showing me my truck? Okay, so I guess we will be doing the freight market next time, guys. Well, that was an exciting journey, and it's just getting started.
So come back next time. I'll see you all later.